How's it going everyone? My name is Carlos and welcome to Kingdoms TV, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In the Diamond Commander League, we have added a few of our own rules to the traditional Commander gameplay. This season we are using Highlander Points, or HP. Players earn HP by playing in League games, reaching achievements, and directly from our patrons. HP can be used in game to do things like getting additional mana, looking at your opponent's hand, and even getting rid of Planeswalker emblems. HP can also be traded in for real life prizes like promos, playmats, booster boxes, and more. If you'd like to watch our show live, you can find us on our Twitch channel on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, we have other shows throughout the week, so check out our schedule on our Twitch page. You can find all this at twitch.tv slash kingdoms TV. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. You get access to our Discord and you can join in on the fun directly by giving HP to our players live during the game. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Let's go over our commanders for this week. First, we have John S playing Emil the Blessed. John's goal is to use Emil's blink ability to blink creatures with good ETB effects, especially to draw cards. Eventually, he will draw into an infinite combo and win with super huge trampling unicorns. No spoilers, but as William Shakespeare said, now I will believe that there are unicorns. John's starting hand includes Angelic Renewal, Aura Shards, Crows and Grip, Seedborn Muse, Workhorse, Beautiful Promenade, and Grasslands. Second, we have Carlos playing Rakdos, Lord of Riots. My goal is to use small, hasty creatures, or pingers, to help Rakdos onto the battlefield. Once he has arrived, I want to do a ton of damage and then cast my huge artifact creatures for cheap as free. Rakdos is the king of the club and will get your name on the list, no problem. My starting hand includes Hangerback Walker, Talisman of Indulgence, Fervor, Steel Hellkite, Noxious Gearhulk, Bloodstained Mire, and a Mountain. Third, we have Jason playing Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. Jason's goal is to use Sisse's ability to pull out the right Planeswalker at the right time. The more super friends she has, the bigger she gets, and the bigger she gets, the more friends she has. The cycle continues until even Nicol Bolas wouldn't know what to do with so many sparks. Jason's hand includes Jace Friend's Prodigy, Nissa Vastwood Seer, Smothering Tithe, Dejeru with Eyes Open, an island, a swamp, and a forest. Fourth, we have John M. playing Tessa Karlov. John's goal is to play some classic aristocrats taken to the next level with Tessa's double death triggers. He wants to keep his opponent's creatures low with grave pact effects, and then either swarm them with one ones or life loss, whichever comes first. With the ghost cancel out of the picture, she controls who lives and dies, but usually who dies. John's starting hand includes Bastion of Remembrance, Storm Herd, Concealed Courtyard, a Plains, and three swamps. We have a double header today, so let's jump into game one. With a grasslands and pass. Draw a card. I'm gonna play this Bloodstained Mire. Maybe one sack it. I'll get a, a cycle tap lands and I'll be done. I'm gonna draw, play this pretty little island, and I'll pass the turn. I'll draw as well. I'll play Concealed Courtyard. I'm done. I'll draw, play a Bountiful Promenade and tap. Crack a grasslands, get a temple garden, ing some more life. Then I will cast Angelic Renewal and pass. Play a Mountain, play a Talisman of Indulgence, and I'll be done. Perfect. Draw. Baby Jace, go ahead, John. I'll play a Plains. I'm done. A High Market. High Market. <laughs> and the uh, Aura Shards, pass. Oh, <laughs> yes. I might be oh, out of the game, for reals. Carlos, uh, we're teaming up against our shards. Is that how this works? Yeah. I'll be your be best it. friend until that our shards is gone. Um, Carlos, nothing bad can happen. Literally everything in my hand but my lands. So <laughs> Play Mecha Godzilla. That's two. That's just two. Nice. The hanger back walker one, right? Yeah. You said? I'm done. Planes. Cast my commander. Go ahead, John. Draw. Actually, I will wait for a turn. Go ahead. Play a secluded step tapped and pass. Wow. I did not expect that. I'm not here just to harass Carlos directly. Oh, Joker. <laughs> John, I'll attack you for two. Take it. I'll try and cast Rakdos. That was my whole play, is get something out that can't be our shards. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Before the end of your turn, I'm going to tap Jace. Draw a card. Oh dear. I'll discard. Settle the score. Tap, draw. We'll go forest. Smothering tithe. Wow. I'm very grateful to you and making something that it's is okay. a, a better target. <laughs> My turn? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. John, you paying? No, you can have a treasure. I'll tap four. 
I will cast Taza. That's all I can do. Yay! Go. Let's play a Seedborn Muse. <laughs> cool. Aura Shards. Mother Intent. Oh, you're, you're, Aura Shards my treasure token? No. Smothering <laughs> I got play a mountain. I'm sorry, red and black deck. Are you struggling to remove yeah, my enchantment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. The real... John oh, M cut. and Jason, I need to make a deal with you guys or make a deal with John S. Who wants to make a deal? I am That's totally willing to make a deal to kill Seed S has the, the and... Aura Shards. Let's be honest. Aura Shards. So... <laughs> I'm going to send... Rakdos. And I will take six. If I didn't already make enemies of you, I think I am now. Second main, I'm going to pay two swamps and pay Noxious Gearhulk for two and shoot that Seedborn Muse. Feels, I'll feels pretty, if, sack it at okay. a high market and gain a life. I'm just going all in, I guess. Playing plan, right? the Steel Hellkite for, for zero. Uh, you're done after that? Jace. Especially oh, a blood ch deck. Chain Veil Treasure oh. for uh, black. And I'll cast Liliana. Oh. Dread Horde General. I will plus one her and I'll zombie. make a zombie. I will pass the turn after that. I will cast Sir Conrad the Grim. I will end my turn. I'm going to draw. I will sadly play Cathar's Crusade and pass. I will end a turn uh, put a counter friend. on this Godzilla. Draw this card. Play a Sulphur Springs. We'll send this Hellkite over to John. John M, I'm going to attack you with Rakdos. Jason, I won't attack your Planeswalker, but I will attack you with this mm -hmm. Menace creature. Pay <laughs> three, and it gets rid of our shards. Yeah, I'll, um, do, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I will, no, I will not block. I will pump him one, so it'll be six damage. John, okay. that's my turn. For your turn, Jace. I'll discard Nissa. Treasure for a black. Cast Liliana Vess. And I'll minus two. And Vampiric Tutor. And let's go to combat. A 2-2 two -two at John S. Tap Jace. And then we get a discard a card. And then it's going to be Dejeru with eyes open. Jace is going to transform. <laughs> and then I'm going to minus four Liliana. Each player is going to sacrifice two creatures. Pick them. I wonder which ones I'm going to pick. <laughs> His ability goes off and then it triggers a second time since they all die <gasps> at the same time. Everybody takes 12. I will play land. I want to make Hellkite get minus two power. Draw for turn. Bastion of Remembrance. Ah. This MC. is a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. John has aristocrats in his blood, and he has a, a family heirloom, sort of the animist. Like, those things <laughs> are just connected to John at all times. <laughs> Stop bringing up my issues, man. Oh, those, are good like things. Pretty, those are pretty good. Sounds like a pretty fun D&D character. Yeah. Buried alive. And I will search for three creature cards and put them in my graveyard. And once that is done, I am done. Hey, it's an M.E.O. There she is. With no friends. Uh, but I will throw a plus one, plus one counter on her for um, Cathar's Crusade. Nice. And pass the turn. We'll get a counter on Hangerback Walker at the end of turn. I'm going to pay one red and play Faithless Looting. Draw two and discard this Vault of Whispers, this Fervor. Play land. I'll send the Hellkite at the Dreadlord. I'll send four at your face jason <laughs> i will go to 19. second main i will cast rectus for six and that'll be my turn What's right. and i'm gonna plus one row and we're gonna untap this little island here tap rectus lord of riots cast a mean he has got the um, achievement <laughs> and Yay. all right nice job jason all plus one jace Make it so uh, Hellkite is going to get minus two power. I'm going to minus two Liliana, and I'll tutor. Minus one Amitau, and I'm going to blink Liliana. She'll come back with five. I will make John MC Hammer discard a card. Because you want stuff in your graveyard, right? I'm helping you. I'll be done after you're done discarding. I'll draw for turn. Play another Swamp for turn. I will cast Smothering Tithe. I will cast it's, Cruel it's not worth the price. Let's poke Carlos for one. And I'm done. Yes, let's start here. By casting a workhorse. 
through Cathar's Crusade. It gets five counters. Another counter on Emil. Like it those? is infinite mana. Um, also, it makes Emil infinitely large. You're going to throw 99 counters. So you on... can kill me or Jason. So who, by way of HP bidding, uh, should I <laughs> kill? <laughs> Maybe I'll give an HP rebate. Uh, if the bidding is above one HP, my bid is I'll give you two HP. I will take the two HP from Carlos. Jason, I'm attacking you with a uh, 104, 104 ML. I'm taking it. With the stack M's, I will okay. give Carlos one HP. I will now spend two of my remaining three HP for mana in my main phase for a Sun Titan, uh, mm -hmm. along with some of my infinite number of workhorse counters which i will then use to bring back our shards oh my which i will now use to link Touch sun yourselves. titan repeatedly i'll get back grasslands uh, blow up all the artifacts and enchantments including treasure john mckadee may have linked another 99 counters on sun titan which i guess takes emil to 200 and i will pass drop card i guess my only play is just to Fly on over uh, for six. Commander damage. No blocks. A fire sign. Your turn. Draw for turn. I will cast Taza. And that's the only play I've got. So go ahead, John. So I'm going to sack Grasslands. Go get a forest. Main phase, I'll do the mana. Two green and some of my in infinite colorless for voice of many. When it enters the battlefield, I'll draw a card for each opponent who controls fewer creatures than me. Yeah, so I'm going to keep doing that until I find Crater Hoof. Then Crater Hoof on over with my extremely large creatures that then have Trample. Yep. The HP actually kind of helps kick it into overdrive and save me. Because then I could R shards Carlos away from being a threat after I kill Jason. I'll send 200 Trample at Carlos and 300 Trample John. Mickey D. You got it. When Emil meets its buddy workhorse, you can't hope to keep up with their speed. For game two, Carlos's starting hand includes Wayfarer's Bobble, Copper Gnomes, Felwar Stone, Unlicensed Disintegration, Sneak Attack, Command Tower, and a Swamp. Jason's starting hand includes Commander Sphere, Atraxa Praetor's Voice, Vivian Reed, Command Tower, a Plains, an Island, and a Forest. John M's starting hand includes Carrion Feeder, Dark Ritual, Falconrath Noble, Dictate of Erebos, Command Tower, and Two Swamps. John S.'s starting hand includes Celestia Signet, Blessed Sanctuary, Doubling Season, Seedborn Muse, Two Plains, and a Forest. Let's jump into game two. Let's draw a card, play a Command Tower, a Wayfarer's Bobble. Pass turn. Draw Command Tower. Go ahead. John. I will play Command Tower. Wow, what the heck? I will use it to play the Carrion Feeder. He's great. I'm done. Play a multi format also. He's good. Okay. Draw yep. a card. Play a swamp. Best turn. Let's draw. And let's go with a forest. Pass a turn. Draw. I will tap for two. I will cast the Orzov Signet. Let's attack Jason for one. I will take it. And I'm done. I will play a Signet. And pass. I'll bobble at the end of turn. Didn't draw a land like I wanted, but I will play an arcane signet into a felwar stone. I'll be done after that. <laughs> draw, play commander spear. Go ahead, John. I'll attack John for one. I'll play swamp for turn, and then I'll use the signet, and then play Taza, and then I'm done. Draw, play land, play a meal. Gosh, I'm getting rocks, but no lands. Let's play another talisman. I think John has aura shards, but he's waiting until he can do the workhorse combo thing. <laughs> nope. Play Sin Rotter, and I'll be done. Rock. Oh my. Cast so the rocks are coming in handy for sure. Second commander. Go ahead, John. Draw for turn. I will play Castle Lock Twain for my land for turn. One, two, three, four, five. I will cast Dictate of Erebos. Oh, I've got a blocker. Bad. I can't poke people. Okay, go ahead. I will play mm -hmm. a Blessed Sanctuary. Prevent all non-combat damage that will be dealt to you in creatures you control. And when a non-token creature enters the battlefield, I get a 2-2 unicorn. Under okay. your control, okay. right? Jason, yeah. I'm going to attack you. See how I'll block? My turn. I'll, I'll pass. Upkeep, reveal a prismatic lens. Somebody can take two or it goes to my hand. 
Sure, take it. Yeah, I'll you can you take have it. That. Drop a turn. This is my good cards for the turn. Let's force it now if we can. Hey, John M, I'll attack you with a 3 2 menace. I'll take it. Let's pay four for these. Yeah, I guess I just pass. Cast Oath of a Johnny and put a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control. Go ahead, John. Draw for turn. Cast Dark Ritual. Oh no, are oh, we no. dead? I'm just playing Villas, that's all. <laughs> okay. I will poke Carlos. I am done. Can finally join the command tower party. So I'm gonna play Council's Judgment. Before you guys choose, I could take yeah. care of Villas, but not the enchantment. Oh. Mm, you guys make it very difficult. No, I'll let Dictate go. Then I will cast a Llanowar Visionary, draw a card, and get a unicorn, and I will pass. End of turn. I'll play Unsolicited Disintegration on Villas. Guys? No. Yeah, disintegration. And, and if I control an artifact, you take three damage. I do have a couple. I will reveal for Sin Prodder. This is zero. I will so, pay zero. Okay. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. Play land. Woohoo! I'll attack Jason. Then I'll throw out Mr. Rakdos. I'm going to play Copper Gnomes for free. Pay I one sack it to put any artifact from my hand into play. I'll be done after that. Cast Vivian Reed. And I will plus one. And get a land. I'll play a land for turn. And I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll have five, four to six. I will cast Bolas' Citadel. Uh, what? Oh, oh no. Crap. Bring back Villas. <laughs> it was better. <laughs> hey, let's look at the top card in my library. I will pay four life to cast this spell. No, <laughs> that's Diabolic Tutor. Oh, no. <laughs> I will pay ten life and cast Stormbird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. What? Okay, so I'll get 20 Pegasus tokens. Hey, look, I have a Pegasus token. I will cast Pitiless Plunderer. Creature I control dies, oh, no. I get two treasure. I will sack right. two of them. Um, get get trigger. four treasure. I'll sack those to get four black mana, and I will cast Falcon Wrath Noble. I'll just play this spell. I will pay four life to cast Thrawn's Expertise. And so I will play my land for turn after that resolves. And Carlos, I will pay one life to cast Short Swords on your commander. I'll pay three additional life to pay to cast Ashnod's Altar. Let's sack a servo for two mana to the altar. I'll get two treasure for that. Two life loss and two life gain. Shoot Carlos and John. Okay, let's do that again. I'll shoot John for two. I'll pull two treasure. Let's tap the Citadel and we'll sack ten non-land permanents. Um, what? Sack a servo. Those are all gone. Each opponent loses 10 life. 10 damage to Jason, 5 damage to Carlos, and 5 damage to John. Then we all take 10. And then we all take 10. How many treasure tokens is that? 24 total. Okay, I will pay 2 life to cast Cabal Ritual. It's a land. <laughs> oh, sad. Uh, uh, I'll use the 3 black from Cabal Ritual. 3 treasure. I will cast Endless Obedience. Target creature card for... From a graveyard goes into the battlefield. I will pull Villas. We're dead, right? Yeah, we're dead. So, I mean, you know what you can do, right, John? No, but I feel like I have to figure it out. <laughs> well, no, you could just draw past your lands with Villas. You can kill this 1-1, one, one, and you lose 2 life, okay. and then you draw 2 cards. I'm going to use it one more time because it's a land. Actually, you also draw cards every time you cast with Bolas the Citadel. Let's give the land of our visionary minus 1, minus 1. Ooh, it's I pulled the clamp. I pay 1 life to pull the clamp. Draw a card. So I'll use the two and a treasure cast Bastion of Remembrance. There we go. <gasps> so we'd all take yeah. 20, and then one person and, would take... And he has another, he 20, has another 20 targeted. Yeah. Oh. I can't do anything about that. Yeah. Carlos, can nope. you? In response, I will Stop. sacrifice this, draw a card, <laughs> and yeah, I got nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> My, I need uh... to put somebody at one, because I need to kill somebody oh, with I the 1-1 one, one creature. <laughs> He the... could sack all the 10, make us all lose 20 universal, and then do all of his targeted at Carlos. So I would be at one. And then John. And then yep. I am able to get just hit for one. I like that plan. You guys that like works. that plan? Guaranteed. This is the only 1-1 one, one that I have that's out there. So I'll do the I'm... damage, put it for John at one, and then I'll poke him for one to get that achievement. Pull the lever, Krunk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a great ending. I'm pretty sure after Nicol Bolas was sealed away, Tessa Karlov used her connections to take control of that citadel. 
it is right up her alley. Not only did John M win, he is the first to get all of the monthly achievements for September. Congrats. What did you think of the games? Let us know in the comments. If you are enjoying our videos, you can show us by smashing the like button. We are releasing videos a few times a week now, so go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on this or any of our other shows. And as always, thanks for watching.